Okay, listen, listen. It's hard not to do this without absolutely roasting the book. It, it wasn't bad. I mean, no, it was bad. Huh. It's kind of fun to hate books sometimes. <laughs> It's the toxic inside me. Hello, shoddy bays. Hello, besties. Welcome to um, another, yep, another video. You're here. You know what this is. Um, so, shoddy bays. As you guys have probably seen, I have done a video <laughs> before where I read one star reviews of my favorite books. And I've done that twice because I have many favorite books, you know? In those videos, you guys suggested that I do the opposite where I read five star reviews of my least favorite books instead. So here I am to do that because you suggested it, therefore I will listen to you wholeheartedly. No questions asked. <laughs> Let me know if you like this and if you want to see more parts to it. Or I said it in the last one too, if you guys want me to do this with other favorite books where I read one star reviews of them, I could do it with like my favorite series, for instance. I could read one star reviews of Addicted Calloway. I would probably cry, but I could do it for you. Disclaimer before we start, just because I didn't like these books does not mean I feel any certain way about the authors. Um, most of these authors I actually really like. I like their other books. It's just that these books were personally not for me. These were all three stars or less. Three stars is pretty average in my book. Like it's nothing special special, but all of these were like on the lower side. It was either like two or one star, basically books I don't really like. Once again, nothing to do with the authors. If you like these books, love that for you. I will never judge you for the books you like, just like I expect you not to judge me for the books I like. So if you like these, that's okay. This is just for funsies. I also don't like to spend my time talking about books I don't like, so I'm not really going to tell you about these books. It's just, if you want to go read them, go ahead. <laughs> The fact that Beepster jumped on the stove being a rascal and I'm just yapping away as if it's nobody's business. Go Beepster, honestly. Live in life, live in lavish. Beepster. So I picked five books that are really not my faves, okay? We've got We Were Liars. We've got Good Girl Complex. The Wildflower Duet. I'm focusing on the second one because that was my least favorite. Window Shopping and Credence. Those are the five books I will be reading five star reviews of today. This is definitely not a recommendation video. I'm just focusing on the reviews. But if you want to go read any of these, go ahead. I allow it. <laughs> So we're going to start off with We Were Liars. This book, um, I, uh, I didn't cry at all. I felt no emotional connection to this book or these characters whatsoever. I hated the ending. Felt predictable to me, even though apparently the plot twist is really crazy. I, I thought it was very predictable because I've watched a movie that was exactly like that. So maybe if I hadn't watched the movie, I would have liked the book. I'm not sure. Sobbing, sobbing, sobbing. <laughs> I didn't cry at all. Sobbing, sobbing, sobbing. So much love for this book and it's perfect, perfect ending. I hated the ending. I can't even capitalize right now. I don't even want to capitalize right now. In fetal position, sob, my soul. Did we read the same book? Wow, this review makes me question everything. I don't cry a lot, but boy, this had me sobbing. Am I the only one? Is something wrong with me? Maybe. I don't even know how to describe the feelings this story left me with. Just read it and you'll understand. Well, I read it and I don't understand. <laughs> I am lost amongst my endless tears. I am lost amongst my dry eyes. Oh my fucking God. See, I felt the same way. I thought, oh my fucking God, this book is finally over. <laughs> what do I even do with my life after this? You live it very happily. <laughs> Next, we've got Good Girl Complex. I love Off Campus. I love Briar U. Those, some of my favorites, right? Good Girl Complex just did not do it for me. I read it, okay, I did, but it took me like three weeks to read because I just kept putting it down. I did not want to pick that book up. It felt like a mix of like after, the book after, and then the show Outer Banks. It felt like that combined. So it felt like it's been done before. I think that's why I didn't like it was because it felt repetitive. There was also no epilogue, so it kind of just was over. As a book usually does, it ends. I don't know what I expected here. Every second of that book felt predictable to me. Like there was not one single second that I was like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. I have a brother, John B. Get your head out of the gutter. No, you don't, Topper. You know what? This hit just right. I would venture to say that it hit just wrong. This was a really good four star book, but then Miss Kennedy inserted Taylor Swift lyrics. I know that wasn't a coincidence. I see you. Loved this moody new adult beach bug. <laughs> Now this I can get behind. The one or two star I gave to that book, it was definitely because of the Taylor Swift lyrics. I really love, love, love Cooper. He, John Logan, and Jake Connolly are the most adorable and perfect book boyfriends. How dare you include Jake Connolly in the same category 
as Cooper. I don't even remember Cooper's last name. Connolly and Gary Graham. You can't put them with anybody else. So the fact that you put him with Cooper, whatever his last name is, I don't even want to read the rest of this review. I also adored Mackenzie. I dropped my phone. Oh my goodness. I most definitely just scrolled all the way back on my phone to this lovely picture I need to show you. Tell me that's not the best thing you've ever seen. 3PO in a field of flowers. What was I saying? I low-key lost the review. I don't think I will ever get over how this book made me feel. I don't think so either. It made me feel anger. It made me feel annoyance. It made me feel a lot of things. None of them good. Well, it's 5 a.m. and I've just finished this book. I got an arc. What the fuck? I know what I'm doing as soon as I hand my assignments in next week. What are you doing? Are you rereading it? No way, no how. <laughs> Anyway, good girl complex. All those people loved it, so maybe you will too. This next one is Resurrection of Wildflowers. It is the second in the Wildflowers duet. You guys know how I feel about this duet. If you don't know how I feel about it, just go in my last month's wrap up and you will see. Aw, both of these books did me in. An emotional roller coaster, but I loved them. Thought I wouldn't. Rom com. Rom com. Rom com. Rom com? This really says rom com. It really does. There's no possible way you could tell me that book was a romantic comedy. <laughs> it was way too traumatic to have any rom-com in it. Triggering, but overall, just sweet. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Heartbreakingly beautiful. The first half of that, yes. <laughs> this book was the cutest little, not really, ending we deserved. <laughs> what do you mean, not really? Do you mean it wasn't little or do you mean it wasn't cute? Or do you mean it wasn't the ending we deserved? What's that not really there for? This book is so, so, so good. The first one absolutely ruined me. <laughs> the second one did exactly the same. The first book absolutely ruined me. The second book did exactly the same thing. In the best ways, they said. Okay, in the best ways. My favorite part about that book was the fact that it was over. <laughs> Next we've got Window Shopping by Tessa Bailey. I love Tessa Bailey so much. I love Tessa Bailey with all my heart. Hook, line, and sinker is a five star for me. It happened one summer, owns me. Window Shopping, it just, I loved the Christmas spirit of it. Um, I liked, no that's it, that's all I liked was the Christmas spirit. Oh, I liked that the heroine was grumpy and the hero was sunshine. That was really cool. But other than that, it was just kind of an insta love book. Felt like nothing really happened. I don't really know. It didn't do it for me, but let's see some other people tell me that it did it for them, okay? Pterodactyl Screech. <laughs> Pterodactyl Screech. That's it. That's the review. <laughs> what does a Pterodactyl Screech even sound like? <laughs> that sounds wrong. Yeah. yeah, I love that review. I love that review so much. That's actually A1. I'm never, ever going to be the same after this book. You will be better. <laughs> Wait, why was it the sad faces? I love Aiden. Oh, I guess his name was Aiden. The only Aiden I know is Graves. I don't care if he's too good to be true. It's the holidays and I will not be engaging with reality. <laughs> Please respect my decision at this time. <laughs> you know what? That one got me. I'm not engaging with reality right now. Me living life. <laughs> oh my God, my foot fell asleep. Oh my God, my foot fell asleep, y'all. Oh my God, I can't move. I can't move. Y'all are gonna have to wait a second. I can't move at the moment. I will never stop being sad because this book has a finite number of pages. You know, that's actually what I liked about it. I am quickly becoming such a huge Tessa Bailey fan, as you should, as you should. I've been wanting to get this book for a while. On a whim, I did and loved it. Tessa Bailey's love scenes are just so darn amazing. Can't help but agree. And who doesn't fall for Aiden? Here's the thing though, window shopping? The guy, Aiden, he was like loosely based on Ted Lasso. I love Ted Lasso. So I would think that I would love it, but I didn't. So there's that. I will say though, my favorite character in Ted Lasso, the superior being, is Roy Kent. I will take no arguments. I saved the best for last because this is probably my least and at the same time, kind of my best book. Because listen, let me explain myself with this one. I hate it, right? but I love to hate it. All these other ones I never talk about. I just kind of read them and then I didn't like them and I moved on. But this book, I love to think about it. It follows me everywhere I go. This book has a little piece of my soul in the worst way possible. It's Credence by Penelope Douglas. <laughs> I can't even tell you what happened in the book still to this day. I have no idea. This girly goes to live in the woods with her step uncle and her step cousins 
There's three of them. They're all a family. Winter comes, and when winter comes, you like can't leave the mountains. And so she's stuck in the mountains with these three like semi-family members. Winter comes, they all come, and that's it. That's the book. This book had me questioning all my morals, um, but I still think about it at least once a week. <laughs> so did I really hate it? I don't know. Do I recommend it? No. But do I still think about it? Yes. Search of trigger warnings for sure. Chapter 23 is the only valid chapter in that book. Shut the front door and get out of town. <laughs> Honestly, this makes sense. I don't even really know what this review means, but it adds up. Well, this was a ride. <laughs> It was. Was it a good ride or was it a bad ride? None of us know, but it was a ride nonetheless. Nothing unexpected happens. Another five star from the Penelope Douglas. I love you, bitch. I never could stop loving you, bitch. <laughs> for real though, this was so fucking weird in an amazing way. I didn't know who I was supposed to be rooting for. I even got to a point where I questioned if the characters maybe weren't human. <laughs> I'm laughing because same. For a solid chapter, I thought they were all werewolves. I actually don't know how to feel after reading this. <laughs> it was so fucking weird, but I kind of enjoyed it. If I think too much into the rating, I'll give it a lot lower. So fuck it, five stars. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> Girlie just said, you know what? Live, laugh, love. This was very family friendly. <laughs> Jail. This was very, um, this was a video. Like I said in the beginning, just because I didn't personally enjoy these books doesn't mean that you won't enjoy these books. I'm never roasting the author ever. Um, they work hard as fuck to put out these books and they're just not for everyone. It's kind of like music and, and movies and TV shows. It's just people are gonna have different tastes. You know what I mean? Do we like my Scarlet Witch sweatshirt? I stand by my baby Wanda Maximoff till the day I die. Yes, I did watch Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, of course. I was there premiere night. A lot of you underestimate just how big of a Marvel fan I am. I was there. It was definitely one of my favorite Marvel movies ever. Multiverse of Madness, the first Doctor Strange. Obviously, Far From Home. Those are obviously superior. Incredible. Endgame, Infinity War, Civil War. I adore Captain America Winter Soldier. Shang-Chi, if y'all haven't watched Shang-Chi, X-Men, so good. Some of the first like comics I saw and Thor Ragnarok, of course. I also really like DC. I grew up loving both. I'm so excited for the new Thor, in fact. Scott Summers owns me. Marvel obviously is superior to me. No business being that good. I still love DC. Like the new Batman. Bye, I love you.